Falling oil prices probably won't have the average consumer feeling sorry for oil producers, but the current slide certainly has continued longer than expected. Crude and Brent crude oil prices recovered slightly Tuesday morning to around $53 and $57 a barrel respectively, but only after they both fell to their lowest prices since May 2009. Those prices might evoke images of limbo competitions, or perhaps ludicrous lyrics. Those are admittedly pretty awful how low can you go jokes, but the question is legit. The nationwide average for a gallon of unleaded is still hovering around two and a quarter, but sub two dollar gas isn't uncommon right now. The low prices came about because of a huge glut in the world's oil supply. Much of that supply in the U.S. has been attributed to fracking of shale oil in areas like North Dakota and Texas. Despite losing billions compared to what market prices were just months ago, OPEC's largest producers haven't flinched or slowed their production to get prices back up. But why? Some speculation centered around muscling out that very competition we just mentioned, U.S. production. The idea is that oil-rich countries have enough money in reserves to wait out low prices and make it tough for the competition to profit. Lo and behold, Bloomberg reported Tuesday morning U.S. oil drillers have idled the most rigs since 2012, though fracking operations don't appear to be slowing down so far. As for the how low can prices go question, the general consensus is not much lower, we think. A Tulsa World columnist asked that very question of an online senior gas analyst who didn't appear to give a definitive prediction. Still, he said, pretty soon we probably are going to have more speculators entering the market. We already are starting to see some bets placed on $60 oil. All it would take is a few major banks to buy a million barrels each. For Newsy, I'm Cliff Judy.